Hey Sag, welcome to your weekly reading for June 21st to the 27th. My name is Johanna, welcome to Tenacious Soul. Uh, we're going to go through some general messages for you guys for the week. So take what resonates, leave the rest. You can always check out your sun, your moon, and your rising sign. Um, I am at the cottage, so hopefully things upload in time for you guys. <laughs> um, and yes, I'm in a mellow mood. I have been out in the sun all day today, so a little bit tired, but um, it was a good day otherwise. So hopefully you guys are having a good day too. <laughs> And you get to spend some time outside. So we have indecision. We have adjacent possibilities. We have personal, a door to personal healing and happiness. And we have door to value, which actually um, came out for uh, me in the pre-shuffle as well. So there's definitely something opening up for you here. I feel like though you might have a lot of options. And so you're trying to figure out which one's the best, which could be causing a little bit of like stress and anxiety here. Um... So yeah, you might feel like you have a lot of options. For some of you, it could be career related. Like maybe you're trying to figure out where to go when it comes to a career, a job, something like that. Let's see. I think you're trying to figure out like what's, what's right for you, but also what's gonna make you happy. So we have the Seven of Swords, we have the Eight of Cups. We have the Eight of Wands in the recent past. Current energy with the Chariot, the Six of Swords, Strength. Near future, we have Page of Cups, the King of Pentacles, and the Four of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, we have the King of Swords. All right, so definitely trying to get clear mental clarity here. You're trying to figure something out. Um, but there is resistance towards like which direction to take. I do see you guys moving forward. I see a lot of like movement energy here, especially in the recent past and this current energy. Some of you are physically are moving. Um, we have the seven of swords, we have the eight of cups and we have the seven of wands here in the recent past. So I feel for some of you, it's like you're walking away from deception. You're walking away from things that don't no longer serve you. Um, and that seven of swords are usually things that aren't serving us. So whether it's us holding us back or it's other people or situations um, that just aren't benefiting us. Um, with that eight of wands, there could be communication about you moving forward. But some of you, this is just like you're moving forward pretty quickly. And I see that with the chariot in the uh, current energy as well as the six of swords that you're moving forward fast. Um, and we have strength. A lot of you are, especially if you've been holding yourself back, I feel like you're starting to find your power and your, your strength, that courage to kind of set motion forward or move forward. Um, there could be, again, still a little bit of like resistance, but I do see you guys moving. Some of you are literally moving, like you could be like moving cities, moving overseas for some of you. But there's also success here as well. And you're overcoming challenges. Like whatever has been challenging, you're, you're working through that. Um, in the current or the near future energy, sorry, we have the Page of Cups, the pay, uh, King of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. So the stability is coming in and there might be a specific offer here that comes in. For some of you, this could be love. Um, but for a lot of you, I just see this as an opportunity to... Um, find stability some of you this could be again still a job offer right because this king of pentacles can be a boss right so this could be a person of authority in some capacity same with the king of swords so let's see what is this eight of wands in the recent past for sagittarius what is this eight of wands here in the recent past for sagittarius Page of Pentacles. Yeah, some of you are maybe even learning something new, which for a Sag would be <laughs> probably normal. We have the Ace of Wands. Some, something that provides a passion um, and the Fool's even behind that. So um, again, I feel like you feel stuck, but that's only a matter of you choosing to be stuck in a way. Um, some of you, you just like you're really in your head about it, which is keeping you more stuck than you think. So there's definitely something new here that I feel like you're wanting to move towards. So let's see. I want to see what the Six of Swords is here in the current energy. We have the Magician. 
So you're manifesting a new opportunity, but also manifesting a new space to go in. But again, there's a decision here with the judgment, like needing to make a decision to actually physically move in this direction. We have the Six of Wands, the Nine of Wands, Queen of Cups, Three of Swords, Seven of Pentacles. I see you putting a lot of energy into this. But it's almost like you didn't, for some of you, the place that you have come from, it's like you had a lot of success in it, but there wasn't, it's like the love was lost or the, the you know, what it, whether it was a job or a person, it's like the, you lost lo the love in this situation. It became taxing and challenging. And I think it was like, that's what you have to decide on is like, do I want to continue to invest in this past situation, whether that's career or, or um, finance or career or love? Or do I want to manifest something new for myself? Clarify strength here. Clarify strength here in the current energy. We have the seven of wands. A lot of you are going to fight for what it is that you want. I do see that like energy of, we have the two of cups. Some of you it's love. Some of you are definitely holding back from love, though, as well. With the Ace of Pentacles behind that. Like, again, there's like that, like a little bit of like a resistance almost. Like, and I think it's just because there's a lack of clarity of figuring out. And some of you are still hurt. And so in order to move forward is, is challenging because you're not healed yet. Queen of Pentacles, King of Cups, Four of Cups, Six of Pentacles. I feel like there's an offer that's either on the table or somebody you're dealing with already. Page of Wands, there could be communication and it's almost like, I just don't know if somebody wants it. So I'm not sure if this is a past person. Definitely with the Nine of Wands could be somebody you have a history with, but I feel like some of you are wanting to move on from this situation. Because there may be a new person here. Clarify this page of cups in the near future here. Ten of swords. Yeah, some of you are ending something. Some of you also are emotionally distancing yourself from somebody, or there's emotional distance in this connection, if this is a connection. Tell me more about this page of cups. With the hermit. Yeah, ten of swords and the hermit. You guys are definitely wanting, you guys want to go towards something new here. And if it's not you, it's this other person. But I feel like a lot of you are probably holding back from this person. There's emotional distance. And I feel like for some of you, it's because you've been hurt and you're like, I don't know if I want to do this anymore. I don't want to give, I don't know if I want to give this energy and time and attention. And so you're kind of resistant to this person. I feel like they kind of are picking up on that because I feel like they almost make an offer to you in the near future and you kind of almost like shut them down or you, you turn it down. Clarify this King of Pentacles. Like you could just be start to become very like cold and detached to someone or and even if it's a job, it's like you're doing the bare minimum. You're not really socializing with people and you're going home and you're, you know, moving on, right? We have judgment and the nine of pentacles. Some of you definitely are going to decide to be single. Focus on your stability. We have the ten of cups. What's this four of pentacles here? We have the two of cups. Ace of pentacles. Like, some of you definitely want something new and it's like you're holding back from your current situation. And I think some of you are starting to like realize your value as well when it comes to this situation. I feel like you had a really interesting mid-June reading that was similar to this. I can't remember what it was exactly about, but we have your hard work is paying off, Newman and Capricorn. I had that with Aries. What else is going on for Sag here? What else do they need to know? We have step out of your comfort zone, surrender to the divine, bring love into the situation, and confidence is your key to success. And we have have faith in your dreams. Whatever you want to move towards, I feel like you have that capability. Um, I feel like there's like love and compassion for this situation and for yourself that maybe is needed. Um, and I feel like confidence is your key to success to help you get out of your comfort zone. I feel like whatever you're doing is working. You just have to let things happen and just show yourself some compassion for this situation. 
because a lot of you are just not sure what to do and I think it's like whether you should stay in a situation or you should move on um, because I do see new opportunities opening up for you but you're kind of worried about this and something definitely could have like gone wrong here because we have the storm running so there could have been an argument a fight a disagreement something that happened again this, this could be something that caused that three of swords that heartbreak um, and it's almost like it took your power away and so a lot of you are trying to focus on getting that power back and getting that stability back um, that kind of more like masculine energy to kind of like be able to you know step forward into what it is that you want because I feel a lot of you are not happy in your current situation whether again whether it's love or career you're not happy in the current situation um, but it's like you're needing that confidence to step forward into something new I do see you doing it though it just might take a little bit or you're trying to like maybe even strategize how you're going to get there so that is what I have for you, Sag. Hopefully that's helpful for you guys. Um, if not, you can check out your other signs, but I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you all in the next video. Okay, bye.